child criminal exploitation is when a child under the age of 18 is given something that they might want or need so that can be anything like alcohol, drugs, money, new clothes, new items in exchange for them committing a criminal act on behalf of someone else. So there's also a lot of violence and intimidation and coercion that are used with the imbalance of power. Child sexual exploitation is when an individual under the age of 18 is given something that they might want or need so that can be like affection, love, money, gifts, alcohol, drugs in exchange for uh, something sexual. I was taken into a gang with 18 and 19 year olds and they tried to make me feel like I was their friend when in reality I wasn't and they were trying to exploit me to do things that they wanted me to do. Before I started working with Catch-22 I was feeling a little bit lost and like I didn't know where to go and I didn't have someone to talk to but now I do. Across my side we've been able to deliver one-to-one um, -one support to young people who have been affected by child sexual exploitation, child criminal exploitation. We've supported over 100 victims on a one-to-one -one basis. Not just that, we've been able to provide preventative awareness to groups of young people in schools, youth clubs, care homes, to enable them to spot the signs of child exploitation and to enable them to know where to go to and who to speak to about this and also how to protect themselves um, and how to implement safety strategies for them as well. When I spoke to Cats 22, still the same at first, I thought I could handle it by myself and I needed help to show me that I couldn't do it by myself. So I met my caseworker and she was really nice and she um, helped me with my interests, like actually took an interest in me and it helped me loads. They helped me and now I've got like a great relationship with my family again and I can talk to people now. So as part of our intervention we use scrapbooks for children and young people and this helps them by being able to look at their journey on a whole and reflect back throughout the time that they've engaged with Catch 22, enabling them to recognise how they've been exploited, whether that be sexually or criminally, but also how far they've come within their journey travelled as well. The scrapbooks really helped because when I couldn't express through words what I was feeling, you just write it all down and then you have it to look back on and it just helps you get through it all, it's really helpful. Victim Care has made a difference to Catch-22 where we've been able to reach a huge amount of young people. Before this, there wasn't that service that young people could reach out to. We're the first regional service to be delivering this element within child exploitation and I think that is absolutely fantastic that we're being proactive and leading the way. I feel like um, my mum and my dad are a lot close to me and I don't feel as distant anymore. They've helped me a lot and they have made my life better for me and my family and all the people that have been in my life. I think that the Catch-22 service is really, really important because um, from working with young people, I've come to recognise that sometimes young people have got no one to talk to. They might have mentors in school, but sometimes it's that stigma of going to see someone in school. The support that we've got on Victim Care Merseyside is brilliant because they're seeing that the positive work that we are doing and the difference that we are making in young people's lives. Mm -hmm.